Hey there guys, it's Rick here. Hope you're all doing extremely well out there. I know, I am. It's been a while, hasn't it? Anyway, let's get cracking with what we're gonna look at today. Um, I posted um, a little warm-up pattern on Instagram a few days ago, so we're gonna take a look at that. But what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take it a little bit further. Uh, so I'll show you the, the warm-up pattern that I use um, and kind of how I can sort of become a little bit more creative with an idea. Because I know a lot of you guys out there, when you learn licks, it's kind of like, where do you take it? Right, I've learned this lick, what am I gonna do with it? So I'll give you some uh, hints and tips as to what I do when I've got a specific line, like this warm-up line, and uh, just hopefully sort of point you in the right direction, uh, or just give you some simple ideas. I'm gonna sort of progress with this um, in future videos, but we're gonna start here. So let me show you what the warm-up pattern is. Okay, I'll take it nice and slow. Let me do it again and turn the gain down a bit. Okay, so that's the, the whole pattern. Okay, so we're gonna use that as a template and um, sort of taking it a little bit of a different direction. I mean, this is really simple. What I'm gonna do is take a, you know, a simple concept. Um, I mean, players have been doing this for ages. Once you get a sequence, you simply move the sequence diatonically. Um, so you take that sequence and move it within the notes that are contained within the key that the sequence is derived from. Okay, so let's say we had this line, a simple um, pattern here. Just these three notes. If we play it diatonically, see what I mean? Until we get an octave higher. So we can take that simple concept and use it with this pattern. So. We're going to do exactly that. The only notes which aren't uh, diatonic to this uh, pattern, or the only note, is this note. And it's basically just a passing note anyway, so it's more to do with thinking diatonically than anything else. So... It doesn't matter how you play this, this is to do with taking the idea and being creative with it. So, I'm blabbering on. Um, so what we're going to do is, this is based on the first chord in that key. Okay, so we're in the key of G major. So, simple thing to do is take the whole sequence um, in the same order and just move it up a step, staying in the same key. So we're in the key of G major. So all of those notes belong to the key of G major, and we're taking exactly the same sequence that we played here, up a step. And then we, we can continue. So that's Phrygian. Um, and I'm using the same, uh, articulating it in the same way. Uh, so Lydian, so we're starting on C. Of it, you get the idea. Uh, Mixolydian. Uh, and so on. You can do it all the way up. So that's one really, really simple way of taking a, um, a, a, a sequence or a line and just moving it by step uh, diatonically until you reach an octave higher. I mean, this is a little bit more challenging because. Um, we're playing a lot more notes than, than just a simple, you know, four note sequence. Uh, but this is good. This is, uh, you know, um, you need to be pushing yourself to do this kind of thing to, you know, remain creative. So where, what else can we do with that? We can do the same thing, but what we can do is do it uh, in a parallel fashion. Another <laughs> in other words, what I'm trying to say is we take it from the same root. So instead of moving up diatonically, we're gonna stay on the note of G. Okay. So, um, we're going to start here. Same thing again. Okay, 
And then we're going to play G Dorian. Instead of moving up to A Dorian, we're going to stay on the same uh, roots here. Okay, so we've, we've modulated essentially, but we're, I mean, you know, keeping it simple, we're just playing it in a parallel uh, fashion. So, do G Dorian. And G Phrygian. G Lydian. Hang on, I messed that one up, didn't I? And G Mix Lydian. So, this is the kind of thing that I would do to, to inject a little bit more interest in your ideas, you know. Um, some of the lines that I've played there don't necessarily sound great. Uh, so, and this is what you have to do with sequences. This is what I've done over the years is kind of, you know, use what is useful or what I like the sound of and kind of discard the rest. Um, but this started off as just a simple, you know, warm up pattern anyway. Um, so uh, the idea is to kind of investigate the sounds that, uh, you know, moving around the fretboard, uh, the sounds that you can create just by using a, a simple idea, just uh, diatonics, you know, simple as that. Um, so just going, just to recap, just going back to this uh, here, uh, I've talked about this, this shape before in a video that I did a couple of years ago. Um, you can change the way you articulate it. You know, I'm, I'm uh, sort of mixing up, you know, picking and, um, you know, hammering on and pulling off. Um, so you might want to pick every single note. Uh, you might want to do left hand only. That's the kind of thing that I do with, uh, when I'm warming up with these kind of ideas. Anyway, it's a really simple thing to just take a sequence and move it diatonically. Um, but we'll be taking this a little bit further with, with some more ideas, but um, hopefully uh, this has given you um, a few basic tips to, to kind of uh, be a little bit more, more creative with any sequence that you have. All right, um, if you want any uh, more content from me, you can head on to my website, link in description box below, 20% off currently. So uh, um, check that out. Otherwise, I will see you in the next video. Cheers, guys.